citizens. Today we're speaking about two countries whose citizens face human rights violation on a daily basis, Iran and Yemen. Amidst this ongoing suffering in both countries, the Baha'is also face relentless persecution solely for their beliefs. In Iran, despite the authorities' public denial of the persecution of the Baha'is, most recently expressed by the foreign minister himself, the human rights violations continue unabated. The directive for these acts of discrimination come from the highest level of government. The most flagrant example is a fatwa he issued on 26 March 2018 by Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, where he stated, I quote, you should avoid any association and dealings with this perverse and misguided sect. One of the results of the government's orchestrated persecution is economic strangulation. Hundreds of Baha'i families in Iran are deprived of the possibility to earn a living either through denial of employment in the public sector or the cruel and intentional sealing of their shops. In Yemen, three days before Mr. Khamenei's fatwa, Mr. Abdul Malik al-Houthi, the leader of the Houthis, delivered a televised speech where he vehemently vilified and strongly denounced the Baha'i faith, further intensifying the ongoing persecution of the Baha'is in that country. He warned Yemenis of the satanic Baha'i movement that is waging a war of doctrine against Islam, described the Baha'is as infidel and spread other falsehood. He finally urged Yemenis to defend their country against the Baha'is under the pretext that I quote, those who destroy the faith of people are no less evil and dangerous than those who kill people with their bombs. Such attempts to divide societies must stop once and for all. The international community must urge the Iranian and Houthi authorities to respect the human rights of all their citizens. I thank you. I give the floor.